Hey, Will, just take me through what, what your emotions were when Skyler goes down and you're getting ready to come into the game. Uh, well, you know, my job is the backup, and I got I to gotta always be ready to go. And Coach Klein always, always talks about that. All the coaches always talk about that. You know, you're one play away. Uh, ben Newman has, has really stressed that for me. You know, you're always one play away. Um, you got to always be ready to go. And, and I, you know, I, I try to prepare like I am the starter, and, and Skyler does a great job of helping me. We, we go up there and watch film together, and, you know, he's a great mentor to have. And, um, you know, and obviously the team, they just, they just, we just rallied around each other and, you know, they kind of picked me up and, and, you know, said they believed in me and I couldn't do it without all those guys. So, you know, I just always that next, next guy up mentality. That last touchdown that you had to deuce, did you know kind of pre-snap that's probably where you were going to go when you had the matchup that you wanted? I mean, too. Yeah. When you got deuce one-on-one with the linebacker, that's, I mean, I'm going to take that every day of the week and, um, you know, he's a, he's a great, play, great player, great playmaker. And, you know, he, he just did, did what Deuce does, and he, he made a great play. So all I had to do was get into his hands. Appreciate it, Will. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Michael. Yeah, Will, can you describe the uh, pass play to, to Bradley Moore that went for 66 yards? Just uh, what uh, was the formation and how that happened? Well, you know, that, that that's my first read on that play. And, um, you know, the backers kind of kind of bit up. The flat player kind of bit up on the on the flat round and on me running. And, and you know, Riley just beat his guy across the field. And, and I, I just got into his hands. Wasn't, wasn't a pretty throw, but it got there. And, and you know, Riley did the rest. And, um, you know, yeah, like I said, it was the first read. I just got to it, gave him the ball. And, um, he, he made a great play and the O-line protected and it was just, it was a great play. So uh, we really needed that at that time. Eric. Yeah, well, as soon as you kind of went in the game, they, they showed you probably a few more blitzes than they had Skyler. Was that something you guys were anticipating? I mean, I, we didn't really talk about it, but I figured that they would, you know, they see a true freshman coming in the game. They're probably going to try and, Try and rattle me up a little bit, bring a couple pressures, and um, you know the O line did a great job picking it up, and uh, you know we did what we could and tried to check in and out of things, and um, at the end of the day, you know we got the, we got the job done, and um, you know, so I mean, th yeah, that that I expected that pressure to happen. I I was not too surprised by that, but um, you know we we coach Mess called some great plays, we made some great plays, and did what we had to do. Who were some of the, whether it's coaches or players, who were some of the guys you kind of leaned on the most in that second half when you had to go in the ball game and you were kind of adjusting and trying to bring in everything that you were seeing? Um, I mean, the whole offense was so supportive and, you know, they were just trying to, we were all, we were all kind of just saying, you know, one play at a time, one play at a time, trying to emphasize, you know, and I, th this team is really, is, is all about one, one heartbeat, one, you know, being together. And, you know, Noah Johnson is one guy that really sticks out to me. He was, you know, all, all, you know, talking to me all the time, trying to, you know, keep me in the game, pump me up, do whatever he could. And he's a, he's a heck of a leader. And, you know, he's obviously one of our captains. And Skyler was, you know, he came out there after he got dinged up, which was, which was awesome. And it was great to have him out there and, you know, talking to me and, um, you know, but like I said, I, I couldn't have done it without all those guys. The O-line played their, played their butts off and, um, you know, playmakers made plays and you know, all I had to do was get it in their hands. So it was a great team win. Hey, cool. You got four hands raised. We'll do those four, starting with Kellis. Hey, Will, congrats on the win. Um, when you did fall behind 21-17, is there anything you said to the guys or they said to you that helped keep spirits up? Uh, there was really never a doubt. I mean, we all kind of knew what we had to do. And, I mean, I wouldn't say there was one, one specific instance where anybody said anything. But, you know, we just kind of kept saying that whole – you know, one team, one heartbeat, you know, one play at a time. That, that's our, that was our big, big emphasis for today was that one play at a time. And we, and we did that, you know, we, we came back, we had that, had that big play that Bradley made and, um, you know, we, we answered and, and I, I attribute that to our, you know, one play at a time mentality and not letting, not letting what happened in the past, you know, come back and bite us because, you know, I'll never forget Christian Duffy said, you know, we went three and out on one drive and he said, what happened on my last drive? I don't remember. And I said, you know, let's go do it. And next drive, we, we go down and score. So um, we had a lot, of, a lot of good good moments like that and just tried to keep, keep pushing on. 
I also want to know, it's not that long ago since you were playing high school ball. What's the biggest difference between that and the Big 12? I'd say the speed. I mean, those, those backers, they, they hit the holes. They, they'll hit you. I mean, it, it, it's definitely a different, different speed of the ball game. And, um, and, uh, but at the same time, I got more dudes on my team. You know, I got a, a bigger O-line, really good receivers and really good tight ends, running backs that can make plays. So I guess it kind of all evens out at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, no, it kind of adjusting to those, to those bigger – you know, linebackers and those bigger D linemen and kind of taking hits from them, I think today was, was good for me. And, um, you know, I, I obviously going against our defense all throughout camp and throughout practices has been, we have, we have really good defense. So, I mean, they, they showed that today. So, you know, that, that prepared me for sure. So, yeah. That's, uh, well, you came for spring football and then you didn't have spring football and, you had to leave and then come back. How far along are you into the sit, understanding the offensive system and how comfortable are you? I feel very comfortable with our with our system, and I think you know the next steps are trying to understand the defenses more. And I, I've I've been trying to you know get with Skyler and get with Coach Klein, and they've been you know bringing me in and trying to you know teach me about all the defensive schemes. And we go up there during the week and watch film on you know all all of our opponents and. Um, yeah, so that that's probably the biggest thing right now is is just continuing to nail down the defenses and understand what they're doing, where the you know tendencies, blitzes are coming from, and all that stuff. But I'd say, all in all, you know, the coaches did a pretty good job, and and the practices that I've had have done me well, and and I feel pretty comfortable in this offense, and um, you know, so that it was it was it was a lot of fun being out there today, and you know, getting that win. As Deuce came out of the backfield and went into the slot on that last play you guys ran what did you see from your perspective from the defense uh i mean i i knew they were going they were going all out man pressure and they were going to bring it they, those those backers that were in the box had no there was i really had no doubt that they were going to drop or that they were going to come i didn't think they were going to drop at all so you know i just changed the protection and went full slide and and i knew deuce was going to make a play and he 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 did you know and all i had to do was get into his hands and he did the rest so you know it, it. You know I was looking at my chops when when I saw that one on one matchup with Deuce and a and a linebacker. That's 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 a good sight to see as a quarterback. It's the fourth quarter of a Big Twelve football game. You're a true freshman and you throw a pass to a fellow true freshman to win the game. Basically, yeah. is that kind of amazing to you? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, our our our. I believe our class is is going to be very special. You know, we we had. I mean. Think about it, we had a lot of guys that that played significant time today, you know, true freshmen. And, you know, I, I think we're going to be special going forward. And, you know, the fact that Deuce is already making plays and, you know, you you guys have seen what he does. And, um, you know, it, it's it's definitely promising to see. And I feel like, you know, the more we come together, the more we gel and we're, we're doing a lot of meetings as freshmen and redshirt freshmen trying to come together as a, as a program more from the from the bottom up and, um, you know, the seniors have done a great job taking us in. And I mean, from, from day one, I, I've felt like a part of this team and everybody, and, and they've done that with, with all the, all the freshmen. I haven't heard anything bad about, you know, any, any freshmen, I, everybody just loves the, the family atmosphere and kind of bringing guys in and, and just loving each other. And that's, that's how we do it here. Two more here, starting with Jackson. Well, it seems like any time you throw a freshman into a situation like this, you know, it can be a big moment. And there can be a lot of nerves attached to it. Uh, what do you think it says about you and, and I guess the, the rest of your freshman class that you just talked about and how you're able to handle these moments and, and succeed today? Uh, I think it has a lot to do with um, not only us, but our coaches and getting us prepared for these moments and telling us, you know, you could be out there and you, you know, we, but, but we believe in you, you know, that that's the biggest thing for me is that they continually tell us all that we believe in each and every single one of you. And, you know, whoever's going to have to go out there and make plays, we, we believe in you and we trust you. And if you're here, you're meant for this moment. So, you know, we, we just kind of, you know, that next man up mentality, there was a lot of, a lot of young guys that played today, like I said, and um, you know, I'd say we came through and, and do what we had to do. So it was, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun being a part of that. 
if you had to pick one thing that you learned today that really stuck out to you when you're faced with difficult situations like this, what did you learn the most today? That's a tough question. I learned a lot, you know, being, being my first real reps in a, in a, in a college game. Um, honestly, that the, the operation is a lot different, you know, just making sure, you know, you make a good play, you make a bad play. It doesn't matter. You got to come back and you got to, you know, you got to go, just go to the next play. You got to go get the next play from the sideline and, and move on. Cause that 40 clock, that 40, uh, 40 second play clock isn't, isn't going to wait for you. So, you know, you got to keep moving. And, and I feel like we did a pretty good job of that today. And um, then obviously, you know, the, the defense and seeing all the pressures they bring and all the, just recognizing all that stuff and trying to pick it up as it came. And um, yeah, it was a big learning experience for me and I hope to continue to grow from here. Thanks, Will. Yeah, no problem. Last one for Will here for Nathan. Yeah, uh, Will, how did those two big pass plays to Briley and then to Deuce kind of help you um, feel less nervous or settle into the game? Uh, yeah, those definitely helped. You know, uh, we had a, a couple of short passes early that for me that kind of tried to trying to get my my confidence up and you know kind of just not not that just kind of get me going a little bit. And that was that was good. And and then obviously, when you get the ball to guys like that and they make plays like they did, I mean that's that's special. I mean as a quarterback, that I'm I'm spoiled to have guys like that that can make those kind of plays. And um, you know that that definitely got us fired up and and you know feeling good. And I feel like that you know especially the touchdown of, or the long long play to Briley that got us back a lot of momentum. And from there, I don't think we lost it from there. So that was that was huge. I mean that was that was all you know Briley just making a play that was guys making blocks downfield and that uh you know it, it was it was big for us making those those two plays and definitely a big momentum swinger a big confidence booster for us